Okay, another day, another dollar, another V-blog. This is the last week of the month, January, February, March, April. So, April 28th, 2001. This is my office. Another, and you might get lucky and hear a lot of noise in the background. So, a lot of things have happened the last two weeks, other than the fact I got rear-ended by parked my car, probably hopefully in a bad spot again, but I parked up on the curb. Actually, tonight I'm planning to move some stuff from upstairs to downstairs and vice versa. So I need to get the stuff cleared out to take it to the shop. I got the video, but and it's probably posted in the YouTubers, but finally insurance got enough detail. They was able to extract the license plate, so they were more thrilled. But it proves the fact that SoCal is not the place for me. Anyhow, the second thing is my mobile home sold, so I'm waiting for escrow to go through. Uh, I have paperwork to fill out hopefully this week, next week, because they don't want me going to the office for obvious reasons. So they're just going to send it to me, and escrow wants wet signatures. So as soon as they send it to me, I'll probably have to mail it back to them. So it goes through at least two extra days. So it's anti COVID. <laughs> Gotta love all this crap same time last week i've been having some weird weird neck my thing but it's not swollen so that's good so i just used some light painkillers and finally found something with aspirin in it so i was able to sleep at least and sleep it off so much more energetic no headaches in the last couple of days uh, no headaches no chills anymore i was getting chills so i don't know what i had honestly uh, and I don't even care what I had, so. But I survived. And that's all that matters. I got to the goal. I hit the finish line. And I'm back to work. So, yeah, that's why I skipped last week. So, hopefully, this little short video will be just a life update, project updates, Taku, five years waiting for my suit as well. Let's hope he'll get some move on it this year. But I hate to say it, I think I'm just going to pull everyone's plug in July. I'm just getting tired of trying to follow up on people, not seeing anything. It's like zero interest. I've had people now are giving up on me. I had one that canceled, and then I have another one that's getting close to canceling, and I think he's practically canceled on me too. Or, and I had to explain to him, I'm not a manufacturer. I don't have a facility to manufacture stuff. I'm just a hobbyist. I'll do prototypes. I'll make working. I'll work on schematics, but it's on and off. And I hate to break it. I've worked on his stuff three times already, and I still have two other long-term projects that I need to finish. So once those is finished, then I'm more inclined of doing someone else's project. I still have a day job. I've got projects there up the wazoo from server maintenance to camera maintenance you name it. I just finished putting together another player computer just like the one back there and all the jobs do is just display video all day. That's all it does. Quite simple. So I'm training my technician to do minor maintenance. But that's when it's a little bit easier to fix. It's a Windows platform. I have a Linux based version of that too that I made myself. Uh, Reboot fixes everything in the Linux world. It's firmware driven but as far as the problems that occur with it it's because the instructions is this is how you set it up and it never breaks, but when it breaks, it's your problem. So that's the reason why I go back to the Windows platforms. I can buy software and get support. And if it breaks, as long as we have a license, I can call them up and say, hey, look, or email them, say, hey, look, I've been having some problems not getting A to B to work. And they'll tell me some solutions, and it might work, it might not, or some weird way of doing it. The majority of the time, the software's been very stable, and they've been a pretty good job. This is why I love small businesses, mom and pop, hands down. Most of them have moved out of California, so my hot spots are gone. Places I like to hang out because it's quiet sometimes, grab lunch, drive through's busy, but I just go in there and sit there for 20 minutes on the way to work and then grab lunch and then relax a bit, check my email, and then go to work. But times are changing, so I got to probably get organized tonight, get some more stuff fixed, and then I finally got rid of a ton of stuff. Kind of sad to see some of the stuff I bought and never used. That just tells you how much spend, spend, spend thrift I was. I still got a computer I want to put together up there. It's a game, an old gaming rig, probably so far outdated, it's almost not worth it. But I can't even get, maybe I have to talk to my buddy, Face Rig will work on it. For me, I should be just enough oomph to do that. But 
because it has got dual video cards, uh, an i7 12 core processor, no, six core processor, 12 CPUs, high this running enabled, right channel memory. I think it's only got nine gigs, so it's kind of the low end now in today's standard. So I don't know. I'm at the point where it's not really worth it to buy anything new because. Anything you buy, you're going to hit that 9% tax. And I'd rather put, try to sell off as much of my old stuff make the money back. We're in that society. So I have my store going. We're officially low on stock. I actually probably have to run by storage and take up the last box of squeaks. I think I may have got, yeah, I got one more box of the green, the black, and then one more box of the clear. I've got some down here ready to ship. I'm out of skippers here. I gotta go over there and I'm doing, I think there's three more boxes of skippers. Three. Don't get me wrong on there because I'm getting down to the bottom of the barrel. So the counts are a little bit off of my inventory control because I'm having, every time I try to sell on eBay, I try to take into account those. But it gets busy, so I may have to do them in priority. But uh, no Drake Tales have sold. So that's these things I have here. I've had some these guys so I might take them to cons and unload them when I get there I don't know uh, I would like to sell half of them at least so it's not terribly a big de deficit but you, sometimes you win sometimes you lose I've also been looking at the fact that I probably should be selling on the bigger market like Amazon or something and probably around August because that's when costumes get very popular now they're not very popular because everyone's doing other things and there's really nothing to go to, not even a costume party. So for kids, if they want one, so it's really going to be a back of the barrel item and probably start forcing me to focus on other stuff. Zorin wants me to focus on his dino uh, vest and a few other things. So um, that I seen some prototypes for. He hasn't sent me his to make some official measurements. And he hasn't done any official measurements for me. He sent me some reference art and I'm still debating whether to go with the same manufacturer or not. He said to go thicker, but I doubt when it comes to toys like these, the thickness is an anti-puncture. It does not mean the failure of the seam will not fail the same way. You can have a toy as thick as you want, and the seam will still fail exactly the same way. The only real way to mitigate against seam problems is to do lap seams. And this may be something I have to research myself to see how many manufacturers can do lap or reinforce seaming. Some can, but the price starts to go creep up. And because of this, I may have to do limited quantity runs and even make it even more limited and just start auctioning them off instead of selling them in the open market because it does not work out for my business model to do it that way unless I love buy a very large volume which I did do with the skipper toy and showed up with a thousand pound pallet at the shop which I can't do right now because I'm no longer at that shop I don't know if I can do that here because we do have pallet jacks but they can't come up to this floor so it makes it a bit of a wrench on the situation, which is why I wanted to get that mobile home up and running with a ramp, which had to be removed because we couldn't get an ADA compliant ramp. But to the new owner of that house, and I have not confirmed if they want to take the DVR system or have me tear it out. And once I get that confirmation, I'll have some spare stuff to probably throw up on eBay as well. But I'm slowly just selling off as much as I can because I'm not really into a lot of this crap. I just want to build build my property and get it insured and get a bunch of other stuff as well. I lost a lot of my sentimental jewelry. I lost a lot of stuff that I really would have tried to protect. That's why I took it out of the house to begin with, actually, because he had water damage at the time. But I didn't realize the fact that I was a target. And now looking back at all the video and all the time people tried jumping in front of me. But you don't want to jump in front of a car that has a reinforced bush guard that's designed for off-road because more than likely he'll plow right through you which is practically what happened in January 2020 which ended up with a huge lawsuit and four points on my record which scary as it sound I can't find those four points so I don't know what got screwed up during COVID but hey I'll take it like the guys they let out of jail let, let out of jail so take take it as much as I can take whatever I can so 
everything is back to normal there. But then I get rear-ended last week, parked car, who would have thought? I mean, the guy pulls up, he's in the middle of the driveway. Then he goes to the right side behind my car and steps on the gas, expecting that I was going to step on the gas too. Well, there's no one, unless he was thinking someone was sleeping in that car. Because he got out for a second, saw the cameras, and got back in. That's what in previous videos in my profile will probably show this. So with all said, um, you can see some of the stack is disappearing. Those boxes of keyboards are probably going to go if anyone wants old PS2 keyboards. Give me a holler. Uh, I usually try to get rid set of 10 dirt cheap, get them out of my storage, so... Hopefully I'll go back there tomorrow and find more stuff to sell. Maybe a Maleficent or something. I got some other stuff I'm just kind of not as interested anymore lately. So a lot of things are not interesting me anymore because of all that PC culture and all that crap. And I'll admit, I was part of the PC culture. I do strongly believe that I fall under the other King community and I'm a Durgan stuck inside of a human body. Because of the knowledge, the background, and the superiority. But that third one is what causes a lot of issue with people, apparently. So, I guess it's all as well as ends well. Go back to being a goth and a super tech. Which means I'm going to my, get my research back and maybe I'll go for a doctorate degree in electrical engineering. It's something that I, maybe I should pursue. I should focus on me, not the world. The world can go fuck itself after 30 years. I may not even be around, but within 30 years, I could get a doctorate degree and maybe be somewhere practical. So I say, screw climate change, screw all the PC crap, and I'm only going to be focusing on this person. So I'm going to end it right there.